Welcome to Electra Online. Well, when you live in a place where it gets cold at night, especially in the wintertime, but let's say it doesn't cool down all the way down to the freezing point. Maybe you go out and it's three, four, five degrees Celsius above freezing, or maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is again warmer than freezing. You don't expect to find ice anywhere because it's too warm for ice to form. Or is it? Well, we do find frost in those cases. Might go on a, out on a brisk morning for a walk or a run or something like that and you'll find ice on the grass, you'll find ice on top of the cars, you'll find ice on the roofs of houses. And you wonder, well, how can that be? It's not even freezing outside. Well, the way it works is that at night, if there's clear skies, so there's no clouds, then since all objects radiate energy, Radiation is coming from the ground, from the top of the car, from the top of the roofs, and of course when those objects radiate, it takes energy with them, it causes the objects to cool down. Now on the other hand, where would they get energy from to heat back up? Well, since the skies are clear, it would have to come from space, and space is brutally cold, especially if the sun isn't out yet. And so the small amount of radiation we get from space when the sun isn't up, when it's still dark outside, is so small that it cannot keep up to the heat loss and temperatures continue to drop. A second place where objects outside get warmed from is the air itself. Now the air is warmer because it is above zero degrees Celsius and so the air is also above zero degrees Celsius and so the air molecules hitting the objects will heat those objects up but the rate at which they lose heat through radiation is greater than the rate at which they absorb energy or heat from the air and therefore they will continue to drop in temperature until the outgoing radiation equals the incoming temperature from the air or the incoming energy from the air. Now the colder objects get the less they radiate so as they cool down the radiation begins to diminish and so eventually the two will catch up to one another and once the objects are when once the heat going out is equal to the heat coming in then they settle in at that temperature and very often on clear nights cool nights the temperature will then be a below zero for the surface of those objects and so any condensation that is in the air will then uh, any condensation that then deposit cells on the object will then turn into ice and that's where all the frost comes from so if you ever wonder when you see frost if the temperature is above zero degrees Celsius or below zero degrees Celsius, well, by looking at the frost itself, you can tell. It could still be a little bit warmer than that, even though there's frost everywhere you look. It's all about the energy going out is more energy lost than the energy coming in from the air, and there's the frost, even at temperatures above the freezing point. There's the kitty.